A few hours ago, the Indian space research organization ISRO successfully placed 36 one web satellites meant to offer global internet service using its heaviest rocket, that's the launch vehicle Mafia, it's known as the LVM3, for the first time. This took place a few minutes past midnight. The entire process was about 1.5 hours long. So that's the update we have for you. My colleague Ritu is with us to bring us more details on the entire story. Uh, Ritu, obviously a success for ISRO. ISRO's heaviest rocket successfully placing 36 OneWeb satellites into their orbits. But if you could give our audiences a lot more information on what is going to be the repercussions or rather the acts to follow, what happens now? Well, exactly, you see, as India is celebrating Diwali, this is another happy news coming in from the ISRO, where the ISRO has successfully placed a 36 OneWeb satellite that is meant to be uh, offer a global internet service uh, using its heaviest uh, uh, rocket, that's uh, launch vehicle Mark III, which was earlier uh, called as uh, a GSLV. So this was the first time that in the midnight on Sunday, you see for almost of a one, uh, one and a half hour of a long uh, launch. So this is successfully being launched. So what we do know in the procedure is that one, it is already successfully launched uh, uh, from the ISRO. And then this was uh, you know, launched in a five phases. So yes, in the first four phases, where the 16... Uh, satellites, you know, got, uh, get separated. So that is one of the challenging points that uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the scientists had, in fact, during this procedure. So the 16 satellites successfully separated and which was visible from the uh, Israel location. And then later point, you see the other uh, uh, 20 leftover satellites got, got separated successfully as well. But that wasn't visible because it was on the other part or other side of the earth. And but it is not. all 36 uh, completely injected into the low uh, uh, low earth orbit. In fact, and but with this, you know, the main point that we also have to note a uh, note is that it, now the ISRO has also entered successfully into uh, the commercial uh, market service because. Uh, this, you see, before was between a tech uh, project because they, the, the company was, the UK-based uh, company was planning to uh, get it launched from the Russian space uh, organization. But because of the war that was taking place in the Ukraine, they could not there and they then signed this contract with the New Space Indian Limited and therein you see this is successfully being launched now and this will also boost the energy of uh, our, uh, uh, you know, the scientists there. Okay, Ritu, thank you for those details. But if I could actually request you to stay with us.